Hey, here I am jumping on to share the dream oracle, a new moon mantra for the new moon that is in Libra tomorrow. And so for those of you who are unsure of what a dream moon mantra is, essentially it's a mantra that I have channeled from spirit in the dream world that you can use to support you through this next lunar cycle. So um, you can use this mantra throughout your day. You can either post it on a post-it note and use it throughout your day, or what it's kind of primarily for is to use as a mantra and like an intention before you go to sleep each night. And this will help you integrate and deepen this process for you while you're sleeping in the dream world. So whether you remember your dreams or not, um, it will still support you in the process and integrating it. And so I'll share a little bit of the, um, well, not a little bit, I'll share the dream oracle message that kind of went along with this mantra. I was sharing the dreams before, but, um, I think it's been a little confusing in ways for people. So I'm not really sharing the dreams anymore. I'm just gonna be sharing the messages and the mantra. And I might share elements of the dream with you. And so this mantra and this lunar cycle, we're really being called to really reflect on the illusions that we have been buying into. And this can be on so many different levels. Um, but primarily it's around like how you move through the world and how we think we can move through the world. And, and because of that, it's like looking at challenges that you have and how you might consider moving through those and actually thinking and considering the opposite. So it sounds kind of funny. So let's like just throw out an example. So you know how we walk around on the earth cause there's gravity and it keeps us, you know, upright. Imagine if you could actually just like walk up a wall and be upright or like, I guess, horizontal and walking up a wall. That's kind of like, somewhat of an imagery that I can share with you from the dream. And so what it's really reflecting on is like, we sometimes get so set in our ways and sometimes those can be really great things. And sometimes we need to reevaluate them and ask ourselves if those ways of moving through the world really support us or not. And perhaps we've chosen to believe in certain Illusions. Illusions was a really big word. Um, you can also kind of replace it or interchange it with the word belief. Um, so yeah, we've bought into these illusions and these illusions are what create our reality. And they also guide us on how we move through this world. And so it's really an invitation to reflect on those illusions and beliefs and see what needs to be shed, let go of, tweaked, readjusted, and challenge yourself and really, really ask yourself, like, is what I'm doing really, um, really supporting me? Or can I look at this from another way? And at the same time, be mindful that when you do this, your mind is going to be like, no, I'm doing it the right way. This is the right way. This is how I've always done it. This is, this is exactly how it's supposed to be. <clears throat> I can't um, entertain a different way or do it differently. And when your mind starts doing that, then it, that's the time to really challenge it and really ask yourself, is that the truth? Is there, is, is there a better way? And really, really sit with it. And don't do this from a mental state. Do this from like a dropped in. So this is something that would be really great to do journaling or meditating. And when I say journaling, I mean like flow writing journaling. So like flow writing for like at least three pages, 
kind of like write, 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 write. Even when you're just like, I don't know what to write anymore. I'm just going to start writing and scribbling and just writing what like this. And, you know, then kind of go back to the question and it doing that flow writing actually drops you into a meditative state. And I find that if you're someone who kind of struggles with meditating, the flow writing can be really good because it's like giving you a task more than just like sitting there. And if you have a very busy mind, um, very active and there's lots going on, I find the flow writing really good. So I'm going to share some journal prompts and then I'm also going to share the mantra. Actually, I'll show the mantra first. So the mantra itself is, I release the illusions and beliefs that no longer support me. I step into greater alignment with my truth. I do this with ease and grace. So I'll repeat that. And I'm also going to share this into my feed. So if you don't have a pen and paper right now, that's okay. You can grab it from my feed later. Um, again, it's I release the illusions and beliefs that no longer support me. I step into greater alignment with my truth. I do this with ease and grace. And so some questions that you can journal and or meditate on are what illusions have I believed to be true that are no longer serving me? The next one is what is my deeper truth? Next one is how can I step into deeper alignment with my truth? And then lastly, how can I make these shifts in my life with ease and grace? So like I said, I'm gonna be sharing a post into my feed that will have the mantra as well as these journal prompts to support you with it. And do this in the evening, do this before you go to bed and allow yourself to kind of integrate this when you are dreaming and when you are sleeping because that's what we're doing when we're sleeping. And um, yeah, it's like use that time. Use that time when you are sleeping, resting and rejuvenating to focus on this stuff. Now, when you're sleeping, you might not remember this. That's totally fine. I'm just saying like do this as an intention before you go to sleep and it will just naturally help you when you are in the dream world. So let me know if you have any questions. I hope you find this dream moon mantra supportive. Um, you can use this for the entire lunar cycle or honestly like as much or as little as you want. And yeah, let me know if you have any questions, share this with a friend. And I'm sending you lots of magical and awakening dreams.